everyone. My name is Janine and I am an elementary art teacher. Today I'd like to show you a lesson that is fun and beautiful and something you should be able to do at home with the materials that you can have, you might have around the house, or you might use different materials. I'm going to call this work Painted Paper Weaving. We are going to paint two beautiful papers and then we're going to weave them together. So I am going to show you how to paint papers with watercolor, regular old much loved watercolor set. But if you don't have watercolors at home, you can, you can color your papers with colored pencils, crayons, or markers. Just make sure it's really, really bright and colorful. I'm gonna to start to paint. So we need two sheets of paper. One I painted in cool colors, blues, purples, greens, and the other I painted in warm colors, yellow, orange, red pinks. I think for the demonstration today, I'm going to use the cool colors. So I have my paint set here. I am working at a table, so I found an old towel to work on so I don't get paint all over the table. And we're going to get a brush and some clean water. And first of all, I'm going to wet the colors I plan to use. Green, blue, and violet. Let them soak up the water and start to be workable for us. Uh, you can start with any of the colors, put them on any way you want, just make sure you cover the whole page. Swish my brush in clean water, add some blues. Now watercolor does dry lighter than you apply it, so don't get your colors too watery because when they dry, you'll be disappointed. They won't be bright like you were hoping they would. So go ahead and really, really dig down in there carefully to get some good pigment mixed in with your water. I like it. Okay, let's fill in the rest with purple. Good, I have this towel down because I'm going the whole way to the edge. Watercolor really likes to blend and swirl. That's what we love about it. Let that happen. See how the colors work so beautifully together, filling the entire page. Nice. Now I have to let that dry, really dry well. So I'm gonna put my paints wet. Since I actually did a painting yesterday, I'm gonna use that and, oh, there's a good example of you can see how you can see how it's dried a little bit lighter. And I'll move my painting supplies out of the way because I'm, now I'm gonna start cutting. Painted paper weaving. I'm gonna weave these two papers together. So we'll start with this piece of paper and I'm going to cut it into strips. So I'm gonna use a ruler and I am going to use the width of this ruler to make straight lines down my page. So I'm not really measuring, I'm just using the width of the ruler. Let's see how many strips am I gonna get. Now that one's kind of a little bit bigger than the width of my ruler, but I'm gonna just let it like that. So take your scissors and cut along your pencil lines, slowly and carefully. And you notice that I made the lines on the back of the paper rather than the front of the paper because it's white and I can easily see the lines. And in, in my example, I have used watercolor paper, which is thick paper. If you don't have that at home, which you might not, try to find some thick paper. Um, the thin paper that you usually use for copying, computer copying, can be used, but it's, it's really going to get flimsy and you'll have to be careful that it doesn't rip. Now, if you use dry materials like markers or crayons, you can use as thin paper as you want because they're not going to be, it's not going to be made weak by the wetness of the paint. Okay, one more. I've got my strips. So my second sheet of paper, I'm gonna work on the back again. This time I'm gonna cut it into slits, but not the whole way through. First, at the very top, 
I'm going to take the width of my ruler and make a line. The line is at the top. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other piece of paper, but I'm not going to go past that first line. You see that? And I'm going to cut the same way, so it's going to be like fringe hanging from that solid top. So, cut the line. Don't cut past that line, that first line you made. Just cut up to that line. And if you're an older kid, because this is pretty much a lesson for, oh, I'd say like kindergarten, first, second, and third graders. But if you're an older kid and you like this, maybe you did it one time and you want to do it again, but want to do something trickier, instead of cutting straight lines, you could cut curved lines going up this way. Just as long as you keep that top intact. Ready to weave? I'm going to take another piece of paper that I have just so I can keep everything kind of glued down. I'm going to use a glue stick and I'm going to run a line of glue across the top of the paper and put my fringe paper down the this side that we haven't cut through be glued down. It's going to make it a lot easier for us. Now I take my other papers and I weave. So weaving is under, over, under, over. It's like if you were going through your fingers. Over, under, over. You do one row that way, then you do the next row the opposite. Over, under, over, under. So we'll start. Under, over, under, over, under, over. It probably will stick out a little bit at the sides. So we'll turn that up later. This time we're going to do the opposite. Under, over. You can see how we're getting a sort of a checkerboard pattern. Push it up as tight as you can. And keep going. Under, over, under, over. when you get to the end. Oh, gotta go back here. I did it. So nice. Now, take your scissors and trim off the edges because they are hanging out there. And then I like to just take my glue stick and glue everything down nice and tight so it doesn't have the opportunity to slip apart. And the sides. always like to put my artist name in the corner and the year and there we go painted paper weaving beautiful textures beautiful colors beautiful contrast try it it's fun Bye.